Welcome back. Who am I with today? Hey guys, I'm Sam. And I'm Phil. And we're Bars and Barbells. As a team, we've been coming through and doing reaction videos for about a year now. And we have had a staunch supporter over the past little while from Mark. Mark has requested Rocky Mountain Way, Joe Walsh. Interesting. So another one from Mark. Mark has provided some amazing requests of musical masterpieces on the channel so far. <laughs> musical masterpieces from Mark. Say yeah. that three times fast. <laughs> and uh, yes, we appreciate the support, Mark. And yes. we appreciate the support from not just Mark. All of you guys have yes. been tremendous in providing us guidance, education, uh, great insights into your upbringing and experiences. And uh, now we're traveling back to the 1970s again with yes. Joe Walsh. And and uh, I'm looking forward to this because I am familiar with the Eagles a little bit. My parents were fans of the Eagles growing up. Um, you know, we did Hotel California on the channel. That's the only other Eagles song that we've got to because there's copyright related issues for um, the Eagles that have given some other channels some problems. So we've kind of shied away from doing a lot yeah. of the material, but we've left that one up so far so good. Knock on wood. That's what that was me knocking on wood. If you guys watched that one, you know what my experience and history with the Eagles has been. So, yeah, if you haven't seen that, you should go back and check it out. But anyways, yes. we've got Joe Walsh prior to the Eagles on this one uh, before he joined them. But uh, in light of that, we do have a quick question for them. Samantha, what is it? Yes, yeah, a little trivia. So what year did Joe Walsh join the Eagles? Yeah. If you didn't know that, drop it down in the comments right now. If not, don't worry. We'll let you know. And actually, Joe was in a band before before he became solo, he was so you know yeah he was in a band and then became solo and went into the Eagles. But you just got to tell us when he joined the Eagles. Yes, um, I'm excited to check this out though because like I said, I have enjoyed what I've heard from the Eagles. Um, Joe Walsh, I think he's really well known for being a great guitar player. So uh, I don't know what to expect on this one. Rocky Mountain w Way. I'm surprised um, this doesn't get confused with Rocky Mountain High. That's what I was thinking in my head already. From I was John like, wait Denver. a minute, that sounds kind of similar. Apparently everybody loves Colorado. Yeah, the Rocky Mountains. Anyways, enough about us. Let's get into some Joe Walsh. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's roll.
taking that opportunity real quick to make a little pause. Yeah, you got to be on your toes with these pauses because <laughs> they'll rip you apart in the comments, Samantha. And there's no good place to pause. That's what I found out. <laughs> <laughs> found out journey. the hard way. <laughs> uh, but uh, speaking of on this journey, it sounds like Joe is on a journey in this one. Yeah. And his Rocky Mountain Way is taking him to greener pastures, pun intended. <laughs> and that um, he's seemingly wanting to leave behind some of the uh, things that have happened previously. And I think he's kind of using some um, analogies to exemplify that and the switching up the batter reference for example when the bases are loaded yeah and um, i think that's what he's saying is that you know his rocky mountain way of maybe what i said in the beginning even of where his band was and where he is going now maybe related to his solo career or you know to moving to uh, the rocky mountains in colorado something like that yeah is what i feel like he's kind of discussing Making some changes yeah, in kind of almost a comedic way in, in the way he's, he's talking about it. Um, really interesting as well, the um, effect that they have on his vocal. Yeah. Uh, I, that's, you know, it's a really wet vocal in terms of the effects that we haven't heard a lot of, especially in like that 1970s feel. Mm. So that's unique. Um, and does the guitar riff, uh, especially like the, you know, the main section of the riff and the, even the bass riff, does that remind you of any of the other songs that we have done no pressure mm. um uh, it, nothing stuck out to me i did think of how i really liked how the electric guitar sounded but i didn't like correspond it to anything else um so i the initial vibes it gives me is george thorogood in bad to the bone oh, okay that kind of that yeah. riff that that's what it kind of sounds like um you know there's other ones i feel like that also have used that riff section and changed it slightly. Yeah, a little, some little tweaks in there. Yeah, so that's what that gives me. It's only a part of it because he really tends to change the sound throughout this. It's almost like there's three sections that yeah. they have um, for each like verse course portion. It's like there's three sections within yeah. that. So that's really cool though. I, I'm loving the song. It's a great vibe. Well, one thing I was going to say too is that I feel like with the electric guitar in there and the riff and stuff, like that's a little bit, like not that it's heavy, but heavier in comparison to the vocal. So I feel like those kind of offset each mm -hmm. other well for like, you know, the vibe of this song, because I feel like if I was to just hear the guitar, I might expect the vocals to be a little bit different, but it actually sounds pretty good together. Yeah. And there's, you know, quite a bit of depth in that there's, you know, good use of the keys. Mm -hmm. And I think that mix of the guitar work that you were talking about with his vocal, um, you know, kind of the... Uh, more so I should say like the way he's using his vocal with the lyrics. So you have the lyrics, which in line with the keyboards, I think is a little more bluesy. Mm -hmm. And then you have this rock feel from the guitar yeah. that adds this heavier sound. Yeah, I would agree with that. So it kind of mes meshes together yeah. with that rock blues yeah, feel. So cool. uh, I'm loving this, though. I mm -hmm. mean, <laughs> you know, my expectations were hopeful in getting to listen to some Joe Walsh. Yeah. Because I've never heard anything by himself before on a, on his own. And uh, this is living up to it for sure. Yeah, I mean, aside from Hotel California, like, I don't know if I've ever even heard his voice. So I don't really know how different his voice sounds mm -hmm. with this to that. I would have to listen to them, like, closer. Yeah, and obviously. Obviously, it was a little, yeah. you know, dated, more dated, right? You get a little older, your voice changes. Yes, you know, exactly. Still. So anyways, yeah. let's go back into it.
switched it up on us at the end there. Yeah, that was like, is that an effect on his vocal, I'm guessing, when he was doing that? I, I don't believe even know if I'm going to try to mimic it because you guys are going to be like, what is that? I believe it was a talk box effect, which is interesting because it has the, um, you know, on the back end, we said that his vocal had was wet with a, an effect on the earlier portion before we paused it. And then we get into the talk box effect a little bit later on. So that's pretty cool. And um, was not expecting it. That's why I said to you, um, when I, I don't know if you heard me, but th I said, this is the part I'm talking about. Yeah, I and I was you. referring to the bad to the yeah. bone. I thought we were going to start with that riff again. Yeah. And it was kind of there a little bit, but not as much predominant yeah. as in the beginning portions. And then they just switched it up and went straight to this, this effect portion yeah. throughout the rest of it. And, uh, but yeah, still carried on that vibe and great rhythm and, and all that throughout. So yeah, I like this one. For sure. Yeah, it was cool. So you, you enjoyed your introduction to Joe Walsh as a solo artist? Yeah, I thought it was interesting. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with him to begin with. but So um, Mark did well then. Yeah, I like <laughs> another m musical masterpiece from Mark. <laughs> That's going to be, that's going to be Mark's favorite term and Sam's favorite term. Guaranteed. I'm going to be hearing this musical nonstop from both sides here. From Mark. <laughs> and hopefully you guys enjoyed the musical masterpiece from Mark as well <laughs> by Joe Walsh, Rocky Mountain Way. If you did, let us know by hitting that like button and making sure you hit those comments. The engagement really does help with the channel. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Truly. And uh, before we go, we got to give them the answer to our pop quiz question that we asked in the beginning. And that was, what year did the uh, Eagles get their member, Joe Walsh? When when did he first join up with the Eagles? And the answer to that, Samantha, please enlighten us. 1975. 1975. And a lot of you guys have been like, yeah, that was super easy, man. You guys got to give us a harder question than that. Some of you may not have known. We didn't know, so don't feel bad if that was you. <laughs> and uh, we learned something. Hopefully you guys did as well. Anything you wanted to add before we wrap up? What do they got to do? Two thumbs up from me, and then you have to give us a thumbs up too. <laughs> give us a like if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and come join the family here. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video because we have two coming every day. That means there's tomorrow. So we'll see you then, hopefully. If not, well, good luck. God bless. Thanks for watching, guys.